Hi, my name is Alexa Ellis. I am a homes supervisor for ChildServe. I work in our home services department. Uh, we here in the homes that we serve children and young adults with disabilities and we're here to promote independence, um, gain life skills, help the kiddos and the young adults along their way and to give them the best life possible in a home that they can call their own. Today we have what we call the White Birch location. This is the basement. The kiddos do their schoolwork there since we're doing a lot of virtual schooling. This is where the staff come, um, documentation, take their breaks, residents can hang out down here, watch some TV, which we have down here for them. We try to make their houses as close to yours and eyes as we possibly can. Brandon, can you say hi? Hi. <laughs> Who's got talent? <gasps> Who's got talent? Brandon's got talent. Welcome to the show. What station is Brandon playing? What station? Good job. Good job, bud. Perfect. I'm going to go upstairs. You want to come with me? DSPs and us um, staff that work here in the homes, we have a special lens and try to understand the children, the young adults that live here a little bit better. Working with them, working beside them, teaching, you know, new skills. Um, it's 24-hour care around the clock. So uh, providing services, providing super supervision 24 hours a day, day and night. Um, this is the upstairs. Say hi, Brandon. Perfect, there's Anna. <laughs> so part of the thing that we do as direct support professionals here in the house, like I said, is that we help gain skills. We teach them new things, we run goals. Can you come wash your hands? Come on, come show me how you do it. So during all of our teaching and all of our stuff, we're beside the children and young adults. How many phone calls? I don't know. All of them, huh? Um, we're teaching them. We're never doing it for them. We want them to become independent. We want to help them. We want them to be to gain those daily life skills. So instead of doing it for them, we're going to be hand over hand and a lot of you know assistance to make them do it, um, so they can learn. We want you know we want them to be successful. Even if that means making modifications. <laughs> you have to start somewhere. Is it time to go back downstairs? Sure, you can go downstairs, buddy. And go then, ahead. Where's the so this is Anna washing her hands with her staff, Julia. <laughs> Good job, Hannah. Good job. Our direct support professionals really are the backbone. I mean, without them, we couldn't provide the cares. We couldn't do the things that we do here. Um, in SCL and RBS, you know, we really thrive on community involvement, outings, getting in the community and teaching our young adults and residents to be able to go in the community and know what's out there, be familiar with where they're living and what they do. So, for example, Tuesdays we go swimming, Thursdays we may go bowling. Um, different things or whatever, but really it's it's just about being here for the kids. It is the most rewarding thing in the entire world. I thought when I came into the homes um, that I was here to teach the kids, you know, things and it, it did not take long at all to realize that they were teaching me things. Um, they are wonderful. It is so rewarding being here with them and welcome to the homes.